you're someone out there who's chasing a dream or following a passion, you've probably been asked, why do it? Why put yourself through all this? This vlog is dedicated to you. And it's also dedicated to my best friend, Pat McDonald. He's currently chasing his own dream. He's taking his truck with a camper on top of it across country to go snowboarding and adventure. Pat's been my adventure buddy for many trips. He's definitely an inspiration. It took him, I think, a couple years to save up enough money to get the camper and the truck and just go out there and do it. And that takes like so much dedication to your passion. Have a safe trip. See you, bro. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> If you're creating anything, if you're chasing a passion, you're on a journey. And people won't always understand where or why you're going. Just keep walking. home for the holidays what kind of struck me is the conversations that I had with people when you're chasing your passion there's gonna be two kinds of people there's gonna be the kind of person that really supports what you're doing like my sister who's also doing her vlog thing and her website and a blog um, I'll link them below then there's also like 90% of the people and they don't get it they maybe they haven't discovered their own passion you know, I, I talked to a couple of people during the holidays about my vlogs and stuff, and it's funny, the, the looks on their faces, they're kind of just like, what? And even some of them will say, like, so why do you do that? A lot of them think if there's no monetary compensation, that it, it doesn't make any sense to them. Um, and I don't know where that stems from. I, I guess maybe if you haven't discovered your own passion yet, you can't really relate to somebody that's kind of chasing their own. Um, because I've, I've started realizing that the, the people that I see vlogging and starting photography and everything, I'm way more supportive of them now that I've discovered vlogging and photography. And I guess like most of the people just don't understand like why I really do it. It is my passion, but it's my passion because it gets me out of the house and it keeps my mind away from things that I think of when I sit still. I guess for me, like sitting still is the hardest thing for me. Like staying at home for a whole day is insane. Um, I just think way too much and I just get really stir crazy. So that's why days like today, I'm in the mountains and not sitting at home on the couch. It's important for me to have an outlet to just kind of get up and go when I'm thinking too much. And that's kind of where hiking comes in, it's where vlogging comes in, it's where photography comes in. And I guess like maybe it's a healthy way to deal with anxiety um, and kind of overthinking. At least I think it is. You know, I'm no expert, but it, it works for me. Um, and I think it works for other people. I've, I've heard other people say much the same thing that kind of getting out keeps their mind from thinking about too many things. So that's why I do it. I do it because it keeps my mind active, but active in the right way. And it's super important to have something like that. And to the people that, that don't understand what I'm doing, I, I would just urge to think about something in your life that you do to kind of keep your mind out of dark areas and and once you think about that once you find that thing you can kind of relate it be like oh my passion is my passion is running I talk about it a lot so when you hear somebody talk about vlogging or writing you'll if you have that in the back of your mind you'll kind of relate to that person and be like oh yeah I get it 
it's so important to empathize with others that are kind of doing their own thing and support others that are that are staying active and trying to chase away the dark thoughts anyway if you like this video please subscribe and hit that thumbs up 